Hey guys, this is Ty Force Games, and back to your reaction to Red vs. Blue, Season 14. I believe it's Episode 4. Yeah, Episode 4. Ep episode 4, Why They're Here. That's a nice callback. Nice callback. Episode 1 and Episode 100. So, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Why are we here? Why were we here? Why they're here? Oh man, we finally get the, the answer to the question. <laughs> let's jump right in. Yo. I want you to know how brave you are for volunteering for this mission. You certainly have more guts than most of your peers, my good sir. You're the final piece in a very complicated little operation. In yeah. fact, you're the most important part, I'd say. When the history of these important events is written, you'll go down as the unsung hero. The soldier who sacrificed so much for his fellow man. It brings a tear to my eye just thinking about it, soldier. The world will never forget Private Jimmy. Gosh! You know, I just want to help out in any way I can. Oh no! Oh saying, no! Oh, darn, if you just stand by Jimmy! Fellow man. Well, you're most certainly doing that. So, how can I help? Just sit right there while these two gentlemen take care of everything. Uh, okay, sure thing. Prepare him for AI implantation. Eh, hey, what now? Ah! What are you doing to us? Go! Ah, that's not as safe physically possible! Your service is appreciated, Private Jimmy. What? What? Check. One, two, sibilance. One, two, a buckle machine. Can you read me? Vic? Uh, hello. Yes, hello. This is Vic. Oh, dear Vic. Simulation outpost. Uh -huh. Remember, you're Vic from Command. Yes, apologies, Agent Porta. I will be sure to modify my greeting in the future. Are you nearing completion of your simulation preparation? Indeed I hmm. am. You can inform the director that I've assembled both red and blue teams for Blood Gulch Outposts 1 and Alpha. Everything is looking dandy. Let me tell you, nothing short of an aspirin overdose will stop this plan from succeeding. Excellent news, sir. Our yeah. Protocol established by command now allows you to activate the Alpha. If our theories are correct, the Alpha will gain full control over the host body it assumes to be its own. Odds of memory contamination from the host mind are very slim. That is fantastic oh, no. news. And it says here in the important notes section that you need to make sure the Alpha has no recollection of the events concerning Project Freelancer. Nothing about the other fragments, nothing about the crash, and absolutely nothing about the men. Understood. It also mm. says not to put the Alpha in any immediate danger as, quote, it is unknown how severe injury or death may affect the host body AI relationship. <laughs> I wasn't planning on any of my men dying. That would just be poor leadership on my part. That is all for the command directives, Agent Florida. Keep in mind, not only am I here to provide false direction for the simulation troopers, mm -hmm. but I am also programmed to assist you in monitoring and managing this operation. If you need anything else, let me know and I will contact command. Well, that sounds handy. Thank you, Vic. Oh. There's one more note here. It also says to make sure that you have a great day, Captain. Ah, oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> now, it's time to begin. Oh, dear. Private Griff, did you send the order for our new jeep? Uh, probably? He took a nap in the middle of filing the paperwork, but I finished it for him, sir. I didn't order you to do that, Simmons. Both of you drop right now and give me 20. 20 what? 20 more minutes? You're not making any sense. No, push-ups. Why would he punish you with a nap? I don't know why he's punishing me at all. You're the one that took matters into his own hands. You know, Sergeant, <laughs> yep. I'd be careful with this guy if I were you. He seems like a bit of a loose cannon. Nothing tells me you're not being entirely genuine, Private. Mm -hmm. Me? Nah. I just want to make sure we establish a good working relationship. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Hello? 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 Can you hear me, Private? there, son. It's me, your good friend and mentor, Captain Butch Flowers. There was an accident. You seem to have lost some of your memory. An accident? What, what, what happened? There was a wet spot on the floor. You slipped and hit your head. No. Tell really? me, do you remember your name? Uh, my name? Uh, my name is Leonard Church. It is indeed. And what's the last thing 
anything you remember? <sighs> I don't know. I remember that there was the snow and there was fighting. Interesting. Oh. Interesting. Go on. Yeah, oh. My girlfriend Tex was there, and she was fighting. I guess she was fighting someone. Is that so? And who was Tex fighting? Oh, it was um. Yeah, I don't know. I. Oh my God. Private Jimmy. That's right. Poor Private Jimmy. You've certainly mentioned him before. Yeah, I remember someone named Private Jimmy, but I don't know. It, it was weird. She was. He's Private Jimmy. Well, that doesn't seem physically possible. But if that's what you remember, then why question it? Just oh my gosh! Whenever more memories start falling into place, we want to be sure to get our, I mean, your story straight. Uh, yeah, okay, sounds good to me. So what's with this armor? We're fighting. Just when I thought this series okay, cannot. This one I thought the series cannot give me any more mind blows. It just did. Oh my gosh. Are you a dick? No. Bummer. Yeah, I don't like you. Come on. Yeah. We're a team. Teams. Tucker is kind of a perv. <laughs> so how about we go on a little scouting mission? Really? I mean, sounds like I just woke up from a traumatic head injury. You sure that's a good idea? Hey, how come he gets a cool armor color and I'm stuck with blue? What? I'm just saying. No one's gonna take me seriously. I look like a fucking Teletubby. Captain Flowers, is it possible that he could get shot on this mission? It's not likely. Well, there's no harm in trying. <laughs> Man. Hey, uh, that's a pretty nice looking sniper rifle, Captain. Can I use it? Tell you what, Private. If the three of us ever go out on a scouting mission like this again, I'll let you do the honors. Awesome! So what are the Reds doing? Oh, they're not. Sure that whatever it is they're talking about down there, it's absolutely <laughs> diabolical. No. Nope. Come on, Simmons, don't be a buzzkill. Don't do it, don't kill my buzz. For the last time, I don't want to go. But dude, the Vegas Quadrant is only three parsecs from here. We can I remember we can this. We kill a hook or two, and we'll be back here before Sarge even notices that we're gone. I'm not going to the fucking Quadrant. Don't talk about the Quadrant. Griff, Simmons! Nice callback. I remember that. I thought I told you two to clean this place up. There are grenades and guns lying around everywhere. Sorry, sir, it won't happen again. Private Griff was just distracting me from my duties. Is this true, Griff? Actually, Simmons was distracting me with some convoluted scheme to sneak away to the Vegas Quadrant before you came to check on us. I was about to report it to you. What? My God, Simmons, how could you? I was holding your rations for the rest of the day. And thank you, Private Griff, for reporting this incident. You, sir, are this is just... good enough this to is just a ration. I don't think Private Simmons is going to be needing it. <laughs> I don't see why not. This is so weird seeing Sarge and Griff getting along. I mean, I know I know they've done it before, but still it's so weird. I can't fucking believe you. Look, I'm not gonna apologize for conjuring an extra meal out of disobeying a direct order. Unless of course you want to go to the Vegas Quadrant. God damn it! Well, I think it's safe to say they're still getting their base in order. No imminent threats. So, do we have a plan of attack? Attack? Oh, no. No. It's like conflict, private church. It's best to keep you out of harm's way for the time being. And me too. Right, Captain Flowers? Yes, whatever you say, Private Tucker. Mm. I'm very pleased with how all of this is coming together. I think everything is going to work out just fine. It will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, why has he just turned away talking like that? <laughs> I have no idea. This is the weirdest day from waking up from a coma ever. Yeah. Ooh, meanwhile downstairs. Greetings, Agent Florida, and welcome back. Do you have anything to report? Only that things are better than a cool glass of lemonade on a hot July afternoon, Vic. This quote-unquote war will be a stalemate for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Maybe up to 14 seasons Very. if we're lucky. <laughs> I prefer to think of the passage of time in terms of the four seasons, as opposed to the standard Gregorian calendar. Ah, very good, sir. Would you like me to go over the fail-safe protocol that we have established? Show me he the can break the fourth wall! wall! Here is the prioritized list of freelancer personnel to be sent to Blood Gulch in the event of your absence. Okay, sorry about that. I ran out of storage for a second. It should not be a problem, so... Let's jump right back in. Neither of them are gonna. Now, none of those five are gonna to arrive. Ouch! Agent Florida, da, 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 da,
you a compadre? Gosh, must have slipped on a wet spot on the floor. Vic, could you please do me a favor and put in a request to command for some wet floor signs? You never can be too careful. You got it, diddly dude. Remember, you need anything, you just give your boy Vic a call it. Ba -ba -ba, I'll be sure to do just that. Farewell, Vic. What did that chord this do? Is gonna run smoother than a baby's bottom, Cappy. Not that I would know. Can't have kids and subsect me, slash the fact that I'm secretly a computer. But that's a story. Oh. Ta -ta -ta -ta. It's it's what changing. Oh. Oh. <sighs> so that's how they got there. Shall do? It's red versus red and blue versus blue. It's I against I and me against you. Oh man, <laughs> mind blows galore in this one. <laughs> okay, so they accidentally, so Flowers slash Florida accidentally messed up the reinforcements thing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so laughing so hard. And Private Jimmy is actually church. <laughs> I was wondering, you know, there was always that one question in the back of my mind. What? Why did? Why did they say his body stag? Because he was he's an AI, and I mean, like, at the end of season one, they said that when they saw, when they found his dead body again, he said, "Man, your body stinks." I'm like, but how? He's an AI. I mean, now I know why. <laughs> He's actually Private Jimmy. <laughs> Rooster Teeth, you clever sons of guns. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, well, I guess that's it for now. Till next time, guys. See ya.